Coming up on this week's episode, Embry-Riddle adds 17 new aircraft to their fleet. Also, EAA joins aviation groups in addressing court regarding Warbird case. And 2021 GA Awards extended their application deadline until the end of the month. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training. From student pilots taking their first flights to the new commercial pilot getting ready for their first flying gigs, as well as the amazing industry built around all of this. No segment is more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news in flight training. So let's start with Embry-Riddle has introduced 17 new aircrafts to its training fleet. As demand for Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University's collegiate professional aviation programs continue to grow, so does their fleet. Since March 2020, 12 new Cessna 172 NAV-3 Skyhawk aircraft and three Diamond DA-42 NG-6 Twin Star aircraft from Diamond Aircraft have been added to the fleet at Embry-Riddle's Prescott campus. At the Daytona Beach campus, one new Diamond and one new Cessna were added during the same time frame. With these additions, the Prescott Campus Department of Flight now houses a total of 45 aircraft. The Daytona Beach Flight Training Department's fleet includes 63 Cessnas and 11 Diamonds. Embry-Riddle's most recent major fleet replenishment was announced in 2019. The university replenishes its fleet, which is about the size of a regional airline, across both residential campuses every seven years. There are more aircrafts to come in 2020 to support growth in enrollment at Embry-Riddle. For fall 2020, the Prescott campus welcomed 859 new undergraduate students, the largest incoming class in history, according to Dr. Jason Ruckert, Vice President for Enrollment Management. The Daytona Beach campus welcomed 1,731 new undergraduates, its second largest incoming class ever. Coming up, Textron to sell True Simulation and Training Canada to CAE. We'll tell you for how much after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artex life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter but still interesting stories in the segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with Gamma welcomes expanded bilateral aviation safety agreement on pilot training. Gamma has commended the signing of two new annexes to the EU and US. Bilateral Aviation Safety Agreement on Cooperation in the Regulation of Civil Aviation Safety. These new annexes reach agreements on pilot licenses and flight simulation training devices. The new pilot licensing annex will allow reciprocal conversions of certain FAA pilot certificates and EU Part FCL licenses. Air Force selects Kirtland Air Force Base for AC-130J Formal Training Unit. The Air Force selected Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico as the preferred location for the relocation of the AC-130J Ghost Rider Formal Training Unit from Hurlburt Field, Florida. 
This action allows for Air Force Special Operations Command to realign its training mission under Air Education and Training Command and consolidate AC-130 initial and mission qualifications training at Kirtland Air Force Base. Altsum intros ALS R20 flight training device. Altsum has expanded its range of products for the launch of their new ALS R20, a replica of the SR20 aircraft. The device reproduces the latest SR20 specific interior cockpit and flight deck training and flight deck including a real GDU 1050A and GFC 700 autopilot. The ALS R20 is further equipped with Gamma 350C, old digital audio panel and GCU-479, and can simulate the Cirrus airframe parachute system designed by BRS. Textron to sell True Simulation and Training Canada to CAE. Textron is selling parts of its True Simulation and Training subsidiary. The company has reached a definite agreement to sell certain of its non-U.S. businesses to CAE Inc. for cash consideration of $40 million, excluding post-closing adjustments, Included in the transaction is the sale of True Simulation and Training Canada Inc., which includes its Montreal manufacturing operations, as well as ETOPS entities in France and Malaysia, and a minority interest in a joint venture in Iceland. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. EAA joins aviation groups in addressing court regarding Warbird case. EAA has joined with NAFI. ICAS, the North American Trainers Association, Gamma, and AOPA in filing an, an amicus curiae brief in the case of Warbird Adventures Inc. et al. v. FAA. The case is challenging a cease and desist order issued to Warbird Adventures by FAA, in which the FAA alleges that the company is operating a limited category aircraft for compensated flight training without a required exception. The limited category was established shortly after World War II to accommodate surplus military aircraft that otherwise did not have a type certificate. While limited airworthiness certificates are no longer issued, many warbirds flying today still operate in that category. Limited category aircraft, like experimental aircraft, are prohibited from carrying persons or property for compensation or hire. The petitioner in this case is arguing that training in a limited category aircraft is not operating the aircraft for compensation or hire. The assertion is based on the FAA's specific actions as to Warbird Adventures prior applicable FAA interpretations and the lack of any specific regulation that prohibits training in limited category aircraft. The FAA disagrees and the petitioner has exercised their right to elevate the case to federal court and ask the opinion of a judge. Coming up, the GA awards deadline was extended. We'll have those details after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Welcome back. The deadline for submitting nominations and applications for the prestigious 2021 National General Aviation Awards has been extended until the end of the month. 
For over 50 years, the General Aviation Awards Program and the FAA have recognized aviation professionals for their contributions to general aviation in the fields of flight instruction, aviation maintenance, and safety. The National Certificated Flight Instructor, the Aviation Maintenance Technician, and FAA Safety Representative honorees will receive an all-expense paid trip to EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. During Air Venture, they will receive recognition from the FAA Administrator, attend a dedicated ceremony with high-ranking FAA officials, have their names added to the perpetual plaque in the EAA Museum, and will be honored at the awards luncheon where they will receive gifts donated by GAA's industry sponsors. Applications and forms and complete details can be found at www.generalaviationawards.org. The folks involved in this effort urge you to please don't delay. Help recognize the best of the best by nominating that truly exceptional flight instructor, aviation maintenance technician, or FAST team representative for one of these prestigious awards. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and of course on Twitter. Remember that we are currently operating on our winter schedule, which means we are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.